So can you take us through your long catch? How did, how did that kind of unfold for you? I didn't know. It was a backside hitch. I converted it. Uh, it's just crazy. I slipped at the beginning of the play. But I, I stayed active in the play. I seen Sean scrambling. He, he threw me the ball. And I seen two defenders. And I cut back. So I get my touchdown. You guys what? had a lot of yards after the catch day among the three of you. What does that say about the wide receiver core that you have and how dangerous they can be when they get their hands on them? Uh, we're very competitive. We compete at practice. We be having like who gonna have the most yak yards at practice. So, I mean, we push each other every day, and we all dynamic. We all can make plays, and y'all seen that today. Keandre, when you got you, Jahan, and Parker, you know, going at the same time, you guys are all in that zone. How dangerous can this offense be? Uh, it can be very dangerous. I mean, today. Me personally, I still uh, had opportunities I left on the table. So, I mean, just when we playing at our highest level, I feel like we're unstoppable. Keandre, when Sean's scrambling around, it seems like he's had a lot of time. What are kind of your, your keys as a wide receiver? What's kind of your, your job as, as he kind of extends the play and he was back there for a very long time? Yeah, I mean, if he's on my side, I try to, uh, if I'm open, I stay open. If, if I'm not, I make a move and get open. If I can beat him deep, I take him deep. Basically, just get to the vision of the quarterback and make sure you can see. So, is that a feel thing that kind of comes with, with yeah. the reps and stuff like Basically, that? Basically, it's just it's instinct. It seemed like early in the game, they were almost inviting you guys to throw that quick little quick hitter out there. Were you surprised they kept doing it? Because I think you hit it like two or three times in a row. I mean, that was their game plan. They they executed pretty well. I mean, we just we took advantage of what we could do. How, how is Jahan? I'm sorry, Nick. No, how has Jahan made you? A better player, but you know, number one, leading by example at a matchup, but also in the in the coverage that he draws, maybe but getting guys open a little bit. I mean, I know he uh, he holds me to a standard. Like he he expects a lot out of me, and I appreciate him for that. So I mean, when I'm not on my game in practice, or if I'm you know feeling some type of way or doing anything wrong, he says something to me, and I, I appreciate that, and it's just making me better, and I understand that. You, you mentioned Villanova's game plan, uh, what they were doing defensively. Did that shift as the game progressed? Like, did you see what what the looks were? Did they did they change up for you guys? I mean, I feel like they they stuck to what they wanted to do. I feel like, and I mean, I feel like we just we executed, and the outcome was the outcome. When the running game is in sort of a, a little bit of a funk like it is now, do you guys as the receiving group, you know, kind of take pride and kind of picking them up a little bit? I mean, I wouldn't call it a funk. I mean, we've got great running backs. I mean, we just got to take steps day by day and, and the whole offense as a whole. But, I mean, we, we got the run game back. They got our back when we not executing on, uh, in the passing game. So, I mean, we as an as a, as a offense as a whole, I feel like we, we complement each other pretty well. How would you sum up the month of September for you guys? What's the main takeaway to you? Uh... It was. It was. It's just a, a taste of our, what we're capable of doing as a whole. I'll say. Do you go into a game getting a sense of how many opportunities you're going to have in the passing game to kind of have those explosive plays, or, or is it just sort of happened organically? I mean, you never go in expecting them something. I mean, my coaches tell me like, stay ready. You know, I, it can be like I, I had zero catches in the first half, and. Had that big play in the third quarter, so I mean, to tell you always stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. How did you guys go to the halftime? Like, the, what was the feeling? I guess up seventeen to three. I mean, definitely not satisfied. Had to make adjustments, so definitely didn't capitalize on as many opportunities we felt like we should have and we needed to. And we just got back to the drawing board and made made corrections. Did you have a sense of what prevented that? Uh, no, sir.